Everyone thought these 10 players were going to retire as football legends, but sadly, they all wasted their crazy talent. What happened, and where exactly did things go wrong? Let's start with the first player on the list, Ronaldinho. Yes, Ronaldinho won two Ballon d'Ors and was a freak of nature, especially at Barcelona. But we all know the crazy talent he had deserved so much more if he was serious, trained hard, and didn't party excessively. And didn't gamble. Ronaldinho was a once-in-a-lifetime player who could do things with the ball that left fans and players speechless. At his peak, he was unstoppable, winning titles and individual awards and inspiring a generation. However, Ronaldinho's commitment to his career wasn't as strong as his natural talent. As his fame grew, so did his love for nightlife. Reports suggested he was often seen partying late at night, even during important seasons. His lifestyle affected his fitness, and he started to lose the sharpness and energy that made him great. After leaving Barcelona in 2008, his form declined rapidly. Clubs like AC Milan saw flashes of his brilliance, but it was clear that the Ronaldinho who dominated football was gone. Off-field distractions, including gambling, drained his focus. If he had maintained the same hunger and discipline as other greats, Ronaldinho might have been the best ever. Let's talk about another dribbler, Eden Hazard. 2. Hazard Although Hazard didn't party or gamble like Ronaldinho, with the help he had, he could have ended up being a multiple Ballon d'Or winner, and he could have cemented his place as one of the top 10 players ever. But he lacked discipline in training, just like Ronaldinho. Eden Hazard was known for his incredible dribbling, speed, and vision. At Chelsea, he was a star who could win games on his own. He helped the team win two Premier League titles and many other trophies, and he looked set to be one of the best in the world. But after joining Real Madrid in 2019 for a huge fee, his career took a different turn. Hazard often showed up to training out of shape, which affected his performances and fitness. Injuries became more frequent, and he struggled to stay on the pitch. There were even reports that he wasn't as focused on his diet and training as other top players. Instead of becoming a legend at Madrid, he spent more time on the bench, and most of it in the hospital. Hazard could have been one of the best ever, but he lacked dedication and discipline. Ultimately, this held him back from reaching his full potential, just like Adriano. 3. Adriano At number 3 on our list is Adriano. He had it all. He had everything it took to be one of the best players in history but his alcoholism and lack of discipline ruined his crazy talent. Adriano was a powerful striker with a rocket of a left foot. The man had great speed and strength. At Inter Milan, he showed flashes of his greatness, scoring amazing goals and bullying defenders. Many believed he could fill the shoes of Ronaldo Nazario and become one of Brazil's next great forwards, but everything changed after his father died in 2004. Adriano fell into a deep depression, and he started to drink heavily to cope with the pain. His off-field issues began to affect his game. He would often miss training or show up unfit. As his drinking worsened, his performances dropped, and he became less focused on football. Inter Milan tried to support him, but Adriano couldn't pull himself together. He bounced around different clubs after that, but never regained his form. Instead of becoming a legend, Adriano's career ended in a string of missed opportunities and regrets. We can't talk about players who wasted their crazy talents without mentioning Balotelli. 4. Balotelli Balotelli. If only he had worked on his attitude, this dude would have been an all-timer. Mario Balotelli had all the skills to be one of the best strikers of his generation. He was strong, fast, and had such a powerful shot. At Inter Milan and Manchester City, he showed moments of brilliance, scoring some incredible goals and winning trophies. But Balotelli was often more known for his off-field antics than his football. His problems with discipline started early in his career. He clashed with coaches, got into fights with teammates, and often made headlines for all the wrong reasons. At Manchester City, he was famous for setting off fireworks in his bathroom and arguing with manager Roberto Mancini. At Liverpool, his performances dipped and he was known for his lazy attitude on the pitch. Instead of focusing on improving his game, he kept making the same mistakes. His lack of focus and commitment meant that he never reached his full potential. After bouncing around different clubs in Europe, Balotelli became a shadow of what he could have been. The next player on the list is Adel Tarabd. 5. Adel Tarabd Remember this guy, Adel Tarabd? Exactly. 
No one does. But this guy was a really good player back then. Adelta Rabd had the talent to be a superstar. He was incredibly skillful with the ball, could dribble past anyone, and had amazing vision for passes. At Queen's Park Rangers, he was a standout. In the 2010-11 season, he was the best player in the championship, leading QPR to promotion with his goals and assists. People thought he was going to be the next big thing in the Premier League, but Tarab's career didn't reach the heights everyone expected because of his poor attitude and, yet again, lack of discipline. Like Balotelli, he often clashed with managers and teammates. He had a reputation for being lazy in training and not taking his fitness seriously. Even at clubs like Tottenham and AC Milan, where he had opportunities to shine, his work ethic held him back. Instead of working hard and becoming a top player, Tarab relied too much on his natural ability. His career became a story of what could have been. If he had focused more on his game, Tarab could have been a star in world football, but his lack of discipline cost him that chance. Now, like Adele Tarab, the next player also lacked discipline, but although he has had a better career, he could have achieved so much more. 6. Neymar It's a no-brainer. If Neymar didn't make that big money move to PSG, everyone knows he'd be the third best player in football after Messi and Ronaldo. Neymar had all the talent in the world, amazing dribbling, speed, creativity, and the ability to score and assist. At Barcelona, he was unstoppable alongside Messi and Suarez, as they won the Champions League in 2015. But when he moved to Paris Saint-Germain in 2017 for a record transfer fee, things changed. Many thought he left Barcelona to step out of Messi's shadow and win the Ballon d'Or, but instead of reaching that level, his career stalled. At PSG, Neymar was often criticised for his lack of focus and commitment. On top of that, his injuries became frequent, and some of them were caused by his lack of discipline in taking care of his body. In fact, sometimes he'd fake his own injuries and miss key games just to attend his sister's birthday. There were reports of him skipping training and partying too much. Rather than becoming the best, Neymar seemed more interested in enjoying life off the field. His decision-making and lack of dedication to his career are why he didn't reach the heights that his talents promised. No wonder he's now in Al Hilal, just a little over 30 years old. Now let's talk about another Brazilian that wasted his talent. 7. Paulinho Paulinho left Tottenham for £230,000 per week at Guanajuato Evergrande. This Brazilian's career was full of surprises and strange choices. Paulinho showed his skills early on with great strength, passing, and a knack for scoring from midfield. But when he first moved to Tottenham, his career took a hit. He struggled in the Premier League and didn't live up to the hype. Then, out of nowhere, he chose to go to China in 2015 when he was still in his prime. Who does that? At Guangzhou Evergrande, Paulinho was a star, but many felt he wasted his talent in a league far from the world's best. However, in 2017, Barcelona saw his potential and took a chance on him. Surprisingly, Paulinho had a solid season, helping Barcelona win La Liga. But instead of building on this success, he chose to return to China for more money. While he did well in China, many believe he wasted his chance to become a top player in Europe. Instead of staying and competing with the best, Paulinho took the easy route for a bigger paycheck. On to the next player at number 8 on the list. 8. Ravel Morrison Ravel Morrison was so good that even when Pogba left Man United, Alex Ferguson wasn't faced. He felt that he had someone more than capable of holding down that midfield. Morrison was considered as one of the best talents to come out of Manchester United's academy. Coaches, teammates, and even Sir Alex Ferguson believed he could be a future star. He had incredible dribbling, vision, and control. He could change a game in seconds. But while his talent was never in question, his attitude and behaviour off the field were a big problem. Morrison had a reputation for being difficult to manage. He was involved in multiple off-field incidents, including legal troubles which affected his focus on football. Ferguson once said Morrison was a brilliant footballer with a poor attitude. After leaving Manchester United, Morrison's career became a journey of missed opportunities. He moved from club to club, including West Ham, Lazio, and several other teams, but never settled anywhere. Ravel Morrison could have been a top player in world football, but because of his attitude, his choices off the field, and his lack of commitment, he never reached the heights everyone believed he could. Ravel may have had attitude issues, but Boyan didn't. 9. Boyan 
Boyan. Many people thought this guy was the next big thing in football. Coming through Barcelona's famous La Masia Academy, he broke records and made headlines early on. At just 17, Boyan became the youngest player to debut for Barcelona in La Liga. People thought he would follow in the footsteps of Lionel Messi. He had incredible speed, a great eye for goal, and the skill to make defenders look silly. But things didn't go as planned. He bloomed very early on, and that brought a lot of pressure. At Barcelona, he found it tough to live up to the hype, with stars like Messi and Iniesta around him. After struggling for regular playing time, he moved around from club to club, playing for Roma, AC Milan, Stoke City, and even in the MLS with Montreal Impact. But he never found his feet again. Injuries also played a role in slowing down his progress, and he was never the same after that. Today, many look back and wonder what could have been if Boyan had stayed on track. Such a shame he let his talent go to waste. Now the 10th player on the list. 10. Ricardo Quaresma Truth be told, Ricardo Quaresma didn't have a bad career, but it was okay at best. And an okay career was not what many thought he'd have, especially with the crazy talent he showed early on. When he was young, Quaresma was one of the most exciting players to watch. His dribbling, skills, and unique moves like his famous Travella, where he bent the ball with the outside of his foot, made him stand out. People thought he would be the next big star and even compared him to Cristiano Ronaldo, who came up around the same time. But Charisma's career was filled with ups and downs. His problem was never his talent. It was his attitude and inconsistency. At Barcelona, he clashed with the coach and his performances dropped. Later, he went to Inter Milan, but he struggled again. Instead of becoming a global star, he became known as a player who didn't fit in. He played for many clubs, including Porto and Besiktas, where he had some good moments, but he never reached his full potential. And that's it for today, guys. Which players did we miss out on? Let me know in the comments section below, and don't forget to stick around for the next video. Until then, enjoy!